Uh, desert team going into the red cap. That's it. They're loaded 240th derby. Understart is on us, and they break away at a very good level break it is too. And uh, through the first furlong, Bolt's return. Tembi up with the pace. Desert team up with the pace. Uh, Blues traveller is travelling well too. So too planetary aspect. Uh, just a couple of lengths off the pace, and the back marker early on is Redner. But it's Bob's return climbing the hill. The leader Bob's return from Tembi in second, and then Desert team and planetary aspect. Barathea the white sleeve jacket. On on the right of the picture, black colours, red and last of all, and they're through the first quarter mile. This Bob's return the game today. Ten behold second, the planetary aspect third, and then just in behind these uh, comes Caro Prince with uh, trying to hold a good position. Sharik on the inside. Leicester on Fatherland is down the pack in about eighth position as they continue their uphill climb. And they've gone three and a half furlongs. Bob return leads from Ten the pink cap on the outside. Blues traveller to the star on the cap, followed through by Zind and then there's a team, but that's the leader, and that is Bob. Bob's return, Tenby in second, planetary aspect ridden along, Fatherland with a quite a lot to do, but we know he plays his hand late, Caro Prince is the back marker and they're heading down towards the halfway stage, Bob's return from Tenby, Blues Traveller and Blue Judge on the inside, then comes planetary aspect followed by Desert Team, Zin the outside of Barathea holding a good posse and then comes Commander in Chief, these are followed through by Sharik and Redden and the Fatherland on the outside of these and comes Zin, the back marker is Caro Prince and they're at the halfway stage now and it's Still Bob's return, blazing the trail. Tell me the odds on favoured in second place. The pink cap on the outside, Blues Traveller. Leicester's only got four behind, but one of those is the American Raider Wolf Prince. Barathea uh, pulls wide and starts a run. Pushed along his Blue Judge. Also pushed along Planetary Aspect. The pace is unrelenting, and they begin the descent to Tattenham Corner, and round the corner they come with three and a half furlongs to go. And it's Tenby in the middle of the three run front runners with Bob's return the inside. Blues Traveller running a bid race. Barathea off the pace, it's poised to challenge Leicester on Fatherland, is eight length off the pace as they pass the three, and it's Blues Traveller a rank outside of Tenby, a swamp for, for run there, and has to be checked on the, on the outside, Commander-in-Chief has delivered his challenge, and it's Commander-in-Chief by two lengths now, to Barathea as they pass the two, Tenby is beaten, and it's Commander-in-Chief, his stable companion, going three clear of Barathea with Blues Traveller, who's won a terrific race around, as they come inside the final furlong, Commander-in-Chief and Mick Kinnan on his fifth derby to Blues Traveller and Barathea and staying on best of all on the outside is Blue Judge up towards the line the commander's in charge commander in chief takes the derby from Blue Judge second Blues Traveller in third close to four Barathea and Caro Prince and then came Bob's return followed by Redman and Fatherland never got competitive then came Wolf Prince Tembi chopped off on the turn and behind that one came Desert Team and Kanaska star in the planetary aspect and died way then came Sharik and last of all was in all installed on the for the 1993 Budweiser Irish Derby, and they're running and showing very good early speed is shrewd idea on the inside. But Willie Carson going on on Regency, Regency the leader, Regency in the second colors of. Prince Abdallah goes into the lead from Shrewd Idea with Desert Team on the outside in third. Four just in behind them comes Commander-in-Chief. And the back marker at the moment is Via Parigi and its Regency. French train Regency by two lengths from Shrewd Idea. Then Desert Team on the outside of Desert Team is Commander-in-Chief. Pat Edery determined not to lose touch with the leaders in this one as they race now towards the nine furlong pole and pass it. Regency, the clear leader under Willie Carson, who's won this twice already by two to two and a half lengths from Shrewd Idea, then Commander-in-Chief on the outside of Desert Team. And still to make his move is Cash Asmussen back in sixth on Hernando. Racing now towards the six furlong pole and still Regency taking him along. Regency from Shrewd Idea, then on the outside of Desert Team comes Commander-in-Chief, just tucked in behind them, uh, Hernando and Cash Asmussen. They're racing now towards the four furlong pole, and as they do so, it's still Regency taking him along from Shrewd Idea. Commander-in-Chief now moves into third. Desert Team is four, just in behind them, Hernando and uh, Cash Asperson still to commit himself as they race now towards the home turn in the Irish Derby. And it's still...
Willie Carson taking him along on Regency from Shrewd Idea. Here comes Pat Edery on the outside, unleashing a run now on Commander-in-Chief towards his outside, Massia. And just in behind the leaders now, and bursting through on the far side, Hernando. And here comes Commander-in-Chief to take it up. And it's Commander-in-Chief now, the British Derby winner from Hernando, the French Derby winner making ground all the time on him. And it's Commander-in-Chief from Hernando as they race into the final 150 yards, both under pressure, Commander-in-Chief from Hernando. And looking back to last place, it was Sersan. And so the result of the 1993 Budweiser Irish Derby is first, number one, Commander-in-Chief.